mDaemon's message recall feature allows users to cancel delivery of a message after it has been sent. And in this lesson, we'll discuss how to enable message recall in mDaemon. We'll go over the message recall settings, and then I'll demonstrate the four different ways to recall a message. For mDaemon 20, the message recall feature has been significantly revamped and improved with a lot of great new features. And you can access the message recall settings in mDaemon under Setup, Server Settings, and message recall is located right here. With the improved message recall settings, users will now have the ability to recall the message directly from other mDaemon users' inboxes. This means they are no longer limited to the time frame at which a message is held temporarily before it gets delivered, although that option is still available as well for messages addressed to external recipients. And to enable message recall, you'd simply check this box. And then you have the option to delete recalled messages from account mail folders. And the way this works is mDaemon by default will remember the last 1,000 messages sent from an authenticated session. So that if a user wants to recall a message that has already been delivered, they can do so as long as it falls within that range of the previous 1,000 messages. And for those messages that are addressed to external recipients, message delivery can be delayed for a given period of time. For example, two minutes, during which the sender can recall the message before it has been delivered. And this deferred delivery delay does not have to apply to messages sent to other users who have a mailbox on your local lemdaemon server. You can check this box here to exempt messages to local recipients from the deferred delivery delay. And there are four different ways to recall a sent message, and I'll show you each method next. The first and easiest way to recall a message is via the Recall button in mDaemon Webmail. If the message was sent within the deferred delivery period specified by the administrator, then you can simply navigate to the Sent Items folder, open the message, and click on the Recall button. You'll receive an alert indicating that the recall request was sent. If the recall attempt was successful, you'll receive a confirmation email in your inbox. Method number two to recall a message is by sending a message to the mDaemon system account with the word recall in the message subject. This allows you to recall the last message that was sent. And once again, you'll receive a confirmation email indicating that the message was removed from the recipient's mail folder. The third method for recalling a message is by forwarding the message as an attachment to the mDaemon system account and placing the word recall in the message subject. If you're using mDaemon webmail, you can open the message in your sent items folder and select Forward as Attachment, as shown here. Address the message to the mDaemon system account under your domain, and place the word Recall in the message subject, and then send your message. And once again, here is our confirmation indicating that the message recall request was successful. And finally, the fourth way to recall a message is by using the Message ID header. Navigate to your Sent Items folder and open up the message that you'd like to recall. Then view the message's headers. Copy the entire Message ID header, Compose a new email addressed to the mDaemon system account under your domain, and in the message subject, type the word recall, and then paste the entire message ID header and send your message. And as with the other methods, you will receive confirmation indicating that your message recall request was successful.